All right, let's set up this file to start doing some animation. Now, the steps I'm going to do, you only have to do them once, and then you can copy that file into new locations, and then you don't have to do this a uh, few little tweaks that I'm going to show you what to do. Uh, I'll show you how to do them, and I'll also give you access to this file um, so that you don't have to do them. But the main important thing is that I show you how to do it. So we're looking here at a blank uh, new file. And the first thing that I'm going to do is save this file in the location where I want it to be. And that's just going to make it a little bit faster when I link stuff in. Let's go File, Save As. Uh, and where am I saving it? I've created an animation folder called Anim. Let's click here, and I'm going to call this Anim Setup. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, this is just my rehearsal file that I'm going to um, save over. Bang. Okay, that's a blank file, and now we're going to set it up. Oh, actually, yours will probably look like the layout. So let me let me change my layout to look like yours. There we go. It'll look something like that. Let's delete this collection. So right click in here and then go Delete Collection because I wanted to um, wipe away that collection as well. I didn't I didn't need it. And let's link in our monster truck. Let's go File link and that'll open up uh, the file browser of where we saved our file so let's go up and locate our uh, rig folder rig and then monster truck rig this one here and then now i'm inside that and then we go collection and then choose the monster truck collection the one that's in all caps let's go click so now we have a an instance of all that data but we can't edit it or move it around or animate it let's create a library override we can do that in two ways. The first way I'll show you just by hitting F3 and then typing override. And you'll see here, um, make library override. So let's click that, whoops, let's click that and then choose um, make library override to confirm that. I moved my mouse before that confirmed. Okay, now you see we've got this um, collection that kind of looks like our original, but it's got this little paper clip with the um, arrow. It's actually meant to be a chain, but to me it looks like a paper clip and a Cupid's arrow. So uh, these are all the collections that we have. We can turn them on and off, but this is a local copy of that. That's all fine and dandy. Uh, let's check what didn't work. Now out of the box, I know that this won't work and that is our wheel drivers. Um, if we roll our car, it's not working. This isn't a bug. It's just the way, the order in which it operates um, the stuff when it links it in. So it tries to update the drivers before the script has been loaded and it's just uh, it gets stuck in a broken state. So we just need to force a reload and then we can save our file and it'll work every time. So how do we do that? I'm just going to split my window. Let's go vertical split and bring up the script editor with shift F11 and then choose the auto rotate um, Python script here. You see it imported our two Python scripts, which is nice. So that's that one there. And now I'm going to run it. Uh, even though I've already run it because it wasn't successful when it ran. So it technically, it, it hasn't loaded. So now I know it's loaded. Awesome. Uh, if we check, it, there's a chance that it might work, but not yet. So we need to force a reload on the drivers themselves. So let's change this one over here to be the drivers editor, just by going drivers. Um, and if I want to see all the drivers, I can uncheck this selected only. That's the filter. But then I need to make sure that I choose the right um, the right drivers and it's a little bit tricky. So what I like to do is, is have this turned on and then select the bones that I'm working with. That way that I know it's only showing the drivers that I want to work with. So let's turn on those bones, which is on our layer here. So I'm holding down shift and clicking that. And you can see it is our um, deformation bones here because we added a driver on this Y channel here. So that's the one that we need, want to refresh. Now I just have one selected and if we jump over here, you can see um, under driver, it says error, invalid Python expression. And as I've already said, that's because it tried to calculate things and things weren't loaded yet. So let's um, let's do them all at once. So I'm gonna select this side and then I wanna select the other side. So I can hold down Control Shift M and that's flip the selection. But if I open up the redo panel, I can uh, activate extend and that's gonna add to that selection. And so they have four those four bones selected. So let's just go through them. Um, one by one, starting at the top, um, and we just click this update button. Update, and you'll see it's now changed to slow Python expression. Let's do this one. Oh, actually, you know what? It's done all of them. See how the error's gone, and it's done all of them. Actually, let's just doubly make sure. I don't want to be teaching you a bad thing. That should have fixed it, but I just want to be triply, doubly, quadruply sure. So now when I rotate this, whoops, um, let's grab the right bone. And rotate this our wheels are working again yay okay let's um hide the bones that we don't want to see anymore 
for these guys, you're hidden. And we can also, um, with these relationship lines, I don't want to see them in my viewport. You might like to see them, but I think they clutter the view. So I'm just going to disable them here. Click. And now I'm going to save my file. If I open up this file again, it's um, it's saved in a, in a working state. And I can also copy this file to new locations and it's already going to be working, if you know what I mean. So you only have to do that fix once. Let's get in um, our environment now. So under the main collection here, the scene collection, I'm going to go um, actually back to object mode. Let's go file and let's go link. And then let's navigate back to um, the environment folder, which will be in the um, folder for you to download. Under environment, in that folder there, we have track assembly. Let's click this one here. We want to go to the collections again and then bring in the master collection, which is called environment assets. It'll take a second to load and you see we've got this cool looking scene. But let's do the same thing where we create a local override for this or a library override. But I'll show you how to do that with the uh, menu here. So we go object and then go relations, make library override and then click OK. Take a second, boom. Now we've got the same thing going on here with our environment assets. We can turn some things off that we don't want to see, but uh, we, we do want to see them in the render. So here, um, we've got a couple of um, these were helping in the, in, the, in the setup. We want to hide them, right? They're not in the right spot. That's not what we want. So I'm going to just locate where they are. So I can see, I can tell that this one is in this collection because it's, see the highlighted um, kind of collection over there? So medium ramp. I want to disable it in our view as well as our renders, but I don't have those options up here. So let's turn on some more filters. Let's turn on uh, this little screen here. And because I know I'm going to need this later, I'm just going to enable this select selectability um, one as well. So medium ramp, I'm going to hide it in the renders and hide it in the viewport. So now it's still there, but it's I, I don't have to worry about it. Let's do the same thing here. Hide our small ramp in the renders and the viewports. You need to make sure that you do both. Otherwise, when you hit the render button, this geometry is going to appear again. You go like, well, where is that coming from? It's because of this little option here was still enabled. Uh, what else do we need to hide? We want to hide these little fence posts here. So where is that? That's in our fence here. Fence. Oh, you can see that it isn't going to render by default, but let's hide it. Let's just hide our boards. Whoops, that's not right. I wanted to hide this one. Um, good. Uh, the All the trees and the foliage. We do want that to show, but it's going to be really difficult to animate with all this stuff in the way. So let's get out of our way. Let's just hide the clouds. Let's hide the foliage and let's hide the fence because that's going to get in our way. And this is all we need. This is all we need to see to be able to animate. All right. So now we're going to save it in this state. That's how you do the setup. Although I haven't done the ground yet. I'll do that in the next video.